Namaskam Sadhguru. So uh, regarding the situation in China and uh, right now all, all around the world regarding the coronavirus, so it has created a lot of tension in China. And also, um, like in other countries, the Chinese has faced a um, lot of discrimination. So can you give some advice regarding the situation right now to the Chinese? Thank you. Well, uh, it's an unfortunate reality, but this is happening a bit too often. 2003, there was SARS, 2012, there was MERS, now there is corona, new names, but same threat, largely coming from the same sources. So, the people of China must look at this, why is this happening to us again and again? Well, there is uh, right now a very severe influenza, nearly fifteen million Americans are infected. But people are not so excited about it because it's not killing at the same rate. Very old people, children may die sometimes, but it's not killing like this. The reason why this is killing like this, what I hear from people, I'm not a what uh, bacterial or virus scientist or something, but from what I hear, because it's so new to the human system, it is coming from other mammals, wild animals, which un unfortunately are being e eaten as part of the diet in certain parts of China, that it is causing this again and again. So these wild animals have certain things, viruses and bacteria, which we are not competent to handle. All of us have this stuff, but our bodies are competent to handle most of it. But what is in these animals, we are not able to handle it because it's so new to our system, our system does not have the necessary antibodies to address that. Having said that, uh, this is a cultural issue which uh, the people of China should look at long term. The Chinese government, as far as I can see, is doing… handling this in a war footing. <coughs> There's nothing more anybody can do, as far as I can see, when I look at the steps that are being taken. But they won't be able to contain it because people will move. See, if I say, don't cough, you'll just… oh <laughs> So people are like this <laughs> So people will move and they've already moved, it's expected that almost five million people from Yuan could have traveled outside. So where all they've gone? Are you here? <laughs> we don't know where all they've gone, for what purposes they've gone. They may be looking perfectly healthy, but they may be still spreading it. That is the uniqueness of this thing, they won't be sick. They will look perfectly healthy and still be spreading it. So. There is a certain fear among people. Of course, videos are going around showing how you'll doom doom fall dead right there on the street. So when you see a Chinese face, people are scared. This fear mongering will happen inevitably. But Chinese also must understand it's sensitive time. Do not misunderstand isolation as discrimination. Please, don't do that. Please, there is no discrimination, but if you're infected, even in your own home, they'll isolate you, isn't it? Just like that. So, uh, Chinese people should take this in good spirit and don't cough <laughs> But there are different ways of handling it. Some will handle it in a nasty way, some will handle it in a nice way. So. When… when calamities come our way, there are many ways to handle it. Let's handle it gracefully, huh? <laughs> Something keeps coming, virus will come, this will come, that will come. But how we handle it is left to us. So maybe we'll handle this also hopefully, <laughs> but whichever way, let's do it gracefully. If somebody is infected, what they need is definitely isolation but compassion, not discrimination.